we had a really tough time in 2008, which was right in the heart of the credit crunch. We lost a huge amount of market share because a competitor launched against us. The size of the smoothie market overall declined by a third over three months because as the credit crisis hit, consumer confidence plummeted and people started spending less. And meanwhile, our price of fruit is going through the roof and the exchange rate is collapsing and we're buying all our fruit in euros and dollars. So suddenly we're losing loads of money on the bottom line where the business is declining in size. It really was the perfect storm for us. And we had lost sight of the economic model. We were making too low a gross margin and had too high overheads. So everything that could go wrong did go wrong all at the same time simultaneously. And our principal supplier went out of business and only gave us 24 hours notice and they make 100% of our smoothies. So it was as bad as it got. Now the way I was quite philosophical about it long term because nothing went wrong for 10 years, but all the bad luck came in one year. How did we get around it? Well, the first thing we did was if your consumer is hurting financially, you have to make your products cheaper. That's the first thing. Secondly, do not compromise the quality of your products. Make them cheaper through different ways, through either shaking the sort of supply system to see get cheaper costs, or, and or simply make the products smaller. So we managed to make it easier for consumers to buy Innocent by making it cheaper, but without compromising the quality. That then arrested the decline in sales, and that meant we could stabilize. And then it was, we really had to make some big questions about ourselves as a business. Why are we running such high overheads? We were stupid. We had too much operating costs for the size and the scale of the business that we were, so we had to make those changes. We had to make people redundant. We had to draw, we had to take down some of our marketing expenditure. We had to spend less on biscuits you know it was amazing and what we saw a business that we set as a collective as a team we have to save a million pounds of costs and set every single person in the business with the task of find some money to save in your area we delivered seven million pounds of cost savings so never underestimate the power of a team that's given a clear goal and empowered to do their bit to help achieve it